Denzel. Mama Denzel. Gari ni yako ama ni ya baba Denzel? Ni yako. Sasa nikuulize leo vile umepata mafuta umesikia namna gani? Nimefika furaha sana. Sina kwanga mpenda wa hapa. Hapa Shell. Hebu nipatie handbag holder. Huyu anakaa kwa mi.com. Michelle in the last 18 months has embarked on a very serious campaign of changing how we do our business and how we engage to our customers. There are four promises that we endeavor to deliver. Um, number one being having clean and bright stations, just like the one you can see. Secondly is to have quick and easy transactions that you don't you come to the station and we give you service in time and in full. Third is also to ensure that at any given time you find that every single thing in the, in the station is, is in working condition. The oil industry has been, um, has been a subject of so many conversations around pricing, around the issue of, um, of, of, of ERC and, and, and how, and um, as, as much as you know, the international price is actually dropping, there's always been this question about are we, are we really getting the best out of the costing in this country? And what I'd like to assure um, our customers is that I think first and foremost that Kenya has one of the best um, ways of sourcing fuel in Africa. We have one of the most um, lowest um, fuel costs in this region. Um, and thirdly, Kenya is one of the only companies, countries in Africa that actually had their prices drop by more than 25% uh, during this period whereby the, you know, the prices were actually dropping. We continue seeking more support from government. Government has come in to regulate the industry. The, and, and I actually do commend the, the president for ensuring that we actually now have a PS dedicated to petroleum. The pump, the, that, that directive is one that we've been pushing for for a very long time and we are really, really grateful that now we have somebody who can assist us in making sure that the industry is well regulated and is running properly. The recent developments of the crash of oil prices internationally will make it a little bit more difficult to have oil that is economically you know, gotten from the ground and actually sold in the country. So I, we do expect to have a few changes around the strategy around oil. But the idea of making sure that we have uh, an infrastructure that supports getting this oil from the ground and getting it to, to places whereby you can be able to refine it and sell it, or rather making it economically viable, should definitely continue. So we do expect that in, in the next couple of years, that, to, that, that, that the government in, in all its persistency, that the pricing internationally will suit the discovery of some of this um, petroleum that we've seen in this region.